Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and I am going to show you how to make your game look like this. You can see that I'm like full circling here and I'm still getting well over 120 FPS and I am on high settings, but I'm changing a few things and you can literally toggle these things on official servers. It's kind of broken, really crazy. But I mean, it's also really powerful for PVP purposes. And I'm gonna show you these like little settings that you just have to use the tab command console in order to actually access. So if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm and can consider subbing to the channel. I'm starting to creep towards 100K and that's been my dream all along. So you can see that I've kind of got everything turned off right now, but in order to do that, I've got a list of commands in my tab console. And uh, so first off, we're tracking our FPS using stat FPS, if you've never seen that. Water, so I'm gonna tell you what they do and then I'll do them individually so you can see. So r.water.singlelayer0 is gonna turn off water so you can see through water. If you put it to one, it puts it so water is visible again. Um, our material quality level zero literally turns the material quality off in arc, whereas one would turn it back on. Toggle, toggle foliage interaction basically means that whenever you step on something or go through the water, instead of actually it responding to you, um, it turns it off and you can toggle that on and off. Uh, show instance foliage. This is something that they removed from official on some cases, but uh, basically it prevents you from being able to see foliage that is instanced. Um, so anything that you can cut down, remove, add, that kind of stuff. And then volumetric fog basically gets rid of all clouds. If it's a zero, if it's a one, it is on. And then grass dot enable zero. This turns grass off in arc. If you put it on a one, it is enabled. And you can see shadow qualities here. You can turn on or off shadow qualities using a one and a zero. And you can see I've kind of been tinkering with settings up above that. So basically I'm gonna show you one by one what they do. So if I hit this to one single water layer one, I'm going to turn water back on, but because I have everything else turned off, it's not gonna show up yet. Uh, the quality level, if I turn this back on, you're gonna see a boost here, or I guess a little bit of a drop here. So it goes back into this mode right here. Um, you can see that pretty easy to determine that that's something that's kind of broken. I can literally see anything from any distance and it kind of highlights things. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that one. So now that we've got that, we're gonna go ahead and quality level, we're gonna turn this back on and we're gonna go to one. And it's gonna take a second, sorry, I think I just did that one actually, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Um, so instance foliage, we're gonna turn that back on. Notice how that kind of makes a big change, right? Um, so if we don't have that turned on, we're gonna go into the next one. We're gonna to toggle foliage interaction. So now that things move as I go over the top of them, you can see that right there. And then once we've gone through that one, we're gonna go into the next one, volumetric fog. I'll turn that back on. You can see that fog kind of shows back up again in the distance. Um, and then as I'm going through these again, uh, the single layer, that was the water, the quality level. We'll turn that back. I think I already did that. Yeah, I did that. Um, and then we'll do enable grass. You can see how big of a changer that is. And it turns everything back on and it adds a whole bunch of lag to our stuff here. Yep, you can see it come right away. Big problems. Shadow quality, if I turn that back on, that immediately turns it back to almost where we were looking at with the original side of Arc, right? So that's essentially turned all of our stuff off to on again. Um, yeah, so you can turn all of those on individually and it'll give you a different interaction and you can toggle them by using your tab commands inside of Arc. Um, so you can, in, in PVP, you can turn on the ones that are useful at some points in time and not useful at other points in time. Things that I would probably recommend if I was you, I would probably make sure your grass is off. There is literally zero benefit other than it looking pretty. It takes a second to load all in around you, by the way, but it does go away. Um, other things that are kind of like, you don't necessarily need shadow quality, you certainly don't need, so you can turn that off and it gives you a uh, great shadow quality. Um, so you can actually see what's going on. You have no need to access your fogs. Like there's no benefit to that again. So we can turn that off. Um, once you get through those things, the grass, obviously that shadow quality, toggling foliage interaction, that is a major one because it's gonna cause you frame issues. If you have that, you can see that I'm sitting at 50 right now. Um, just changing some of the things. And then uh, material quality level one, if I take that to zero, boom, you can see that that drops a lot of things, increases our frames another 30 FPS. It also highlights everything around you. Um, so if I'm running through everything right now, you can see that I can literally highlight stuff. 
because it's uh, gray, I'm gonna go and hover in the air and show you what I mean by that. As soon as we see a tame, I think I just did a destroy wild dinos, but yeah, as soon as you see a tame, they are not colored. Um, the gray and white, they are actually their original color. So that's why you can see them very well. And that FPS is raising significantly. And then in order to remove everything, we're gonna get rid of the instanced foliage. And then you can see that literally everything is gone inside of this. Now you can set things up inside your INI. So if you go to your hard INI, um, you can literally go into those settings that I just showed you and turn those on permanently. But that's how you do them. It's uh, it's pretty simple. Um, obviously, this is a way to boost your everything inside of Arc. Um, we're going to go ahead and go up foliage interaction. I want to turn it all back on so you can see the difference in the FPS on that right hand side. Um, pretty pretty big freaking changes though like you you understand what i'm saying now because it's it's a lot it's uh it's definitely something that um a single layer back on up here we should be good yep so it goes from we're sitting at what 40 ish now 40 fps um versus 140 150 fps so that is how you change your settings for pvp purposes in order to basically see on the entire map and kind of change everything and this can be done on official i've done it before a few times the only one that's kind of been removed and i don't know sometimes i feel like i can access it or at least change some levels of it is that uh the instanced foliage that is something you can edit in your ini file though just be aware of that you can see that major frame drops happen in a like sitting at 30 compared to 140 ish major major differences so anyways hopefully this video helps you out if you don't mind smack that like button leave a comment below and then consider subbing to the channel all right teach out